Nameless spells in Freerun are very mysterious, and you will see why. Let's start with the spell to create a black hole. This allows the user to create a black hole that pulls surrounding rocks or stones with gravitational pull, vaporizing them to create an explosion. At first, you think it's OP, but it doesn't actually affect living things. Spell that manipulates stones as puppets. The user can turn stones and rocks into the shape of golems, which can be manipulated to move based on the user's free will. Freerun used this spell to make the golem dance. The golem can also cast duplicates of spells that the caster is currently using. One of the strongest OP spells indeed. Shattering Magic, a very colorful spell that can shatter debris near the caster. Would be pretty cool if this can shatter spells too. The Height of Magic, a rare offensive spell that uses the mind to attack. It can push enemies with very strong force. This attack is so strong that it broke Fern's staff and nearly killed her. Fern can't sense its mana, and she doesn't recognize it as an attack, so maybe this spell doesn't need mana to activate. Its weakness is that it makes the user's guard completely down because the spell needs very high concentration, which is normal for elves. Dispelling magic. It makes the user cancel the effects of spells after analyzing them. We can see that Freerun used this against Aura's soldiers. Her staff glows golden while casting the spell. Mapping magic. This is a spell that creates a map layout of a dungeon depending on the user's exploration. This has a hologramic visual as Fern used it for Freerun. Photo magic takes a photograph using magic, which can be printed out and inserted into an accessory. It has a hologramic interface, the same as mapping magic. Spell that creates an animal light show. This is really one of the most beautiful magics, which is good for entertainment. Freerun used this for the villagers. Spell for finding lost accessories. This is a spell that glows at the location of a lost accessory. Very important indeed, especially for my girlfriend. Oh wait, I don't have a girlfriend, but I have you, my subscribers. <laughs> Reflection Magic. This is a spell that allows the user to reflect the opponent's offensive spell that made contact with the user's defensive spell. Next is the Golem Magic. This is a spell that allows the user to create perfect golems. These golems are very powerful because they can destroy the wall with one punch that Denkin cannot destroy with his magic. These golems also have good defensive skills because they easily deflect Sensei's clone attack with a single palm. They can also use the goddess's magic to heal wounded ones. You can store them in a small bottle, no matter how big they are. This magic is actually OP. Just bring many of those bottles and boom, you are instantly a Pokemon trainer. A spell that shuts the door of a treasure vault at the risk of one's life. One of Folk Magic's strongest binding spells. This is used to seal the entrance door and will only break upon the caster's death. Its weakness is that you can just destroy the wall near the door to pass through. Sleeping Curse is a curse magic that has a wide range and can make humans sleep indefinitely. This can be broken by killing the user. Freerun kills the Chaos Flower after waking up. Phantom Magic targets the opponent's mind to create a phantom illusion of deceased individuals that are very dear to them. Einsam used this to lure humans so it could eat them. Its weakness is simply killing the phantom illusion. But the question is, can you kill someone who's important to you? I mean this as your first encounter. Freerun's first encounter was Flamme's illusion, and it changed into Himmel. This is very important, because you can see that Freerun has grown a love for Himmel here. Spell that captures any bird. A folk magic that traps any bird-like creatures with a powerful restraining spell. The user needs to be within the range of 50 centimeters for it to work. Freerun used this against Stilla and Geisel. Clone magic. There are two types of clone magic. First is the magic that creates a perfect physical copy of the user. You can use it anywhere, and the clone can communicate and utilize magic. You can use this to work from home. Lan did this while drinking tea, so he's a badass. The other clone magic is Spiegel's clone magic which is the same as Lance clone magic, except the clones don't have minds of their own, so they can't communicate. Physical objects that the target is carrying can be copied as well. Corpse Detection Magic, a spell that can be cast on corpses to leave traces of magic for tracking purposes. The caster is alerted to the exact location of those who move the corpse. Spell that makes shaved ice. You used your staff and mana to create shaved ice, which helps during hot weather. Butterfly Magic, a spell to create glowing blue butterflies. This is Fern's very first magic, a spell to completely repair a staff. This requires very high concentration, which allows the user to place the pieces of broken staff back together and seal the cracks with magic. The staff appears perfect and new after being repaired. A spell to make clothes clean and spotless. This is a legendary spell from the mythological era that cleans cloth perfectly and infuses it with a floral scent. 
Zeri gave this grimoire to Fern as a reward. Since wives usually do the laundry, Fern is now a happy wife. Zeri, however, is angry because she now needs to do laundry without the spell. Defensive Magic this spell enables the user to create a protective barrier capable of defending against most offensive spells. It was developed to counter Zoltrak by aligning itself with the magic and dispersing its power. This magic can be complex because its form can change depending on the situation, such as covering the entire user. Its weakness lies in its high mana consumption, making it unsustainable for long periods of time. Thus, it's typically used for parrying. Spell to control your hair allows the user to manipulate their own hair, which is given by Zeri to Sensei. The hair can change its sharpness and mass, which can be used to attack or defend against enemies. Its weakness is cutting magic, because hair is something to cut, proven by Yubel. This is also a very good spell for lazy ones because they can just use their hair to get objects. Spell that creates a sharp wire. This is a magical wire that can slice through anything with its sharpness. This magic can be blocked by mana, but it depends on which is stronger. Freerin also said that she can't do anything with wire, which means it's unbreakable. Instead, Freerin took Drath's arm. Spell to unlock a window. This spell can be used without touching the window. Fern used this to infiltrate against demons. Spell that starts a fire allows the user to start a fire using flammable objects, lighter in modern days. Spell that lets you see through clothes allows the user to see through clothes to reveal hidden weapons. This is one of Fern's favorite spells because, you know, she wants to check Stark's hidden weapon. Flying Magic. This gives the user the ability to fly or levitate and can move through the air. This spell cannot be used forever, as it requires a huge amount of mana. Fern can only use it for 30 minutes continuously. This is also a natural magic used by demons because they don't need to learn it. Spell to make things float. This can cause something other than the user to float. This spell can be used to clear debris as Freerin and Fern clear the ship's debris. This spell can also be used offensively by redirecting the collected debris toward the opponent. Recovery Magic allows the user to heal physical wounds. It is used by priests, but mages can use it too, as long as they have the scriptures needed. Barrier magic creates a barrier that isolates anything inside the barrier from outside. The condition depends on the caster's strength and purpose. Barriers weaken over time. This is used by Flamme to protect a plant, also used by Zeri during the first class mage exam. Spell that breaks barriers, a spell that allows the user to reverse engineer any barrier in order to break it. This requires very good analytical skills, and Freerin used this to break Zeri's barrier. Hypnosis magic allows the user to give orders to the opponents. The target must possess a mind for it to work. This is actually the strongest spell against the strongest mages, but it needs direct eye contact for it to work. It can be resisted if you have a strong mental defense like Freerin. Restraint magic, a spell that restricts the movement of the target. It needs to physically touch the target for it to work. It can also be used on objects such as trunks, which Freerin used against Denkin and Laufen. This spell can be resisted depending on the mana difference. A spell that identifies poison. It gives the user the capability to identify the type of poison with which someone has been afflicted based on the user's knowledge. Spell to identify illnesses. Freerin used it on Fern to identify her cold. Detoxification magic allows the user to simply remove any poison or venom from the target's body instantly. Our talented Gigachad, Zayn, used it for Stark, like walking in a park, easy. A spell to produce a field of flowers allows the user to produce a field of flowers around the caster. The user needs to touch the flower first to produce a specific type of flower. This is Flamme and Freerin's favorite spell. Freerin used this to respect Himmel's favorite flower, which is the blue moon weed. Spell that tracks animal footprints. You can see the blue glow on footprints of an animal that you are tracking. This is used by Freerin to track seed rats before discovering the blue moon weed flower. Spell that produces a small electric shock. This is best used for assassination attempts. Spell that turns sweet grapes into sour ones. Freerin used this for Aizen because she didn't forget that Aizen's favorite food is sour grapes. The sourer, the better. Spell to pull someone out of a bottomless swamp. The caster can retrieve someone who is sinking or has already sunk. Spell to get rid of mold and remove tough oil stains. This is the first time Fern told Freerin that she had useful and life-changing spells. Spell that removes rust from bronze statues. Freerin used this to clean the rust off Himmel's bronze statue, leaving it shiny than ever. Lastly is the spell that produces hot tea, which is a form of folk magic. Who doesn't want free tea, right? How about you? What is your favorite spell in Freerin? That's all for today and see you.